Hello everyone, welcome back to another Doctor Who product review. In today's Doctor Who product review, I'm taking a look at the newly released 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, the online version. Uh, so the way this is really going to work is I'm going to take a look at the packaging, take a look at the detail of the Sonic, then do the features of the Sonic and hopefully take a look at some of the Easter egg features the Sonic Screwdriver has, and then do a Sonic Screwdriver lineup. Uh, one thing to note with this Sonic Screwdriver is I know a lot of people are probably uh, panicking about this because they missed out on it because character options uh, underestimated how popular this would be um, because Doctor Who fans love Sonic screwdrivers so of course it's got to sell out they are going to do a, another run of this sort of uh, I think they've called it electroplating Sonic screwdriver with a sort of chrome finish um, but that will be I think a few months away but I think there is a regular version coming out probably before the second batch of this electroplated Sonic screwdriver so let's take a look at the packaging and then we'll take a look at the detail for this sonic screwdriver. Packaging wise we have the lovely style guide packaging so we've got the Sigdrift Anniversary logo there with light and sound effects featuring extending opening admitter. We've got the nice display of the fiery background of the sonic there. The sonic is not in a window box it's all open so you can um, test your sonic uh, there. We've got online exclusive 14th Doctor Sonic screwdriver and then we've got a picture of the admitter there which I think is the a uh, regular version of the Sonic there. We've got the side of the box there, Doctor Who 60 Years Online Exclusive. On the back, I think this is the um, sort of gen sort of mass retail Sonic screwdriver. As you can see, it's got more of a sort of a duller uh, sort of silver plastic. We've got the 14th Doctor there and a bio on the 14th Doctor there. And interestingly, there is no instructions. The instructions are literally on the side, so it tells you all the five features the Sonic screwdriver has and all the little uh, things it does have. It doesn't mention the Easter eggs, but we'll we'll try and unlock the Easter eggs together in a minute. So that is the packaging. So here is the Sonic out of the box. So let's take a look at the detail. So I've not actually spoke about this Sonic's design. I really like it. I think that it's a real nice amalgamation of all the other new series Sonic screwdrivers. Um, so if we start off with the end cap. So the end caps are very reminiscent of the 12th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. I've got this nice sort of gold finish to a very nice metallic gold finish um, we've even got the nice detailing of the sort of rigid uh, detail there which again is continued on this bit which is very reminiscent of the master's laser sonic screwdriver this does have a little feature where you can turn it and sort of pretend that you're changing the sonic's settings which is a very nice little fun little touch if you're going to play around with this sonic then we've got a nice sort of gold ring there and then we have a bit what's very reminiscent of the Matt Smith Sonic screwdriver, which I don't think is reused because you'll have like the button detail there. But we have a nice or leather stitching effect there where you can see it's where it's been stitched together. We've got a bit nice sort of silver chrome ring. And then we move to sort of the main section of the Sonic, this sort of crackle detail, which is very reminiscent of the 9th and 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. You do have a bit of an ugly join line there, which you don't really hide when you're holding the Sonic so it's not like if you're gripping it there um, you'll hide it but yeah and it does feel a little bit hollow <laughs> um, but I guess that's to house the sort of extending feature um, of this Sonic but yeah sorry Sonic you shouldn't have done that um, yeah so that's really nice we move on to sort of the metal plating the electro plating um, effect on this Sonic um, which is cool um, there we go, slide that back down. Um, the button is very nice with a sort of silver finish, um, which does have, a lot of people have said it's a sort of a reference to the 13th Doctor's uh, sort of Sheffield steel. Um, it's actually a bit of Gallifreyan text, if you can get it there. Um, it is a reference to the designer's son, because it's the, son's, the designer's son's name um, engraved in Gallifreyan on the Sonic. Now, this is where I get a little bit iffy with this version of the Sonic um, because it has this chrome finish, this vax metal plastic, which for me personally, I think it looks a bit cheap and tacky. Um, and this is probably why the Sonic's a little bit more expensive because it's an expensive process, but yet it does the opposite for me. It makes it look really quite cheap and tacky. Um, and secondly, this makes the Sonic very fragile because it's a very it makes the plastic very brittle. So handle this Sonic with care. So if you're a cosplayer and you want to use a 14th Doctor Sonic screwdriver, probably leave this one behind and get the regular version um, because this 
this is just you know very flimsy and it just taking a shelf dive it will probably shatter into a million pieces so be careful when you're sort of mucking around with this sonic because you know it's a very fragile sort of thing this sort of vax metal plastic um, so yeah and it's not entirely accurate to the prop because the props more of a sort of a brushed metal look more like the actual uh, general release of the sonic um, which I may get to do a comparison um, but yeah I have to say I'm not a huge fan of the vax metal it does have a feat it does aid the feature of the sonic when it's lit up which I'll explain when we talk about the features um, but I have to say I'm not a huge fan of, of the shiny electro plating of this sonic because it just makes it look a little bit cheap I get that it's trying to make it look metallic but it just looks a little bit tacky in my eyes so if we move down with the sonic extended we can see more of the detail We've got these two round elves there which is very nice got a nice sort of ridging detail there um, very reminiscent of the TARDIS which is cool then we have the sort of column with this nice little spiral helix effect which is very nice I really do like that and then we have the emitter which I guess is a little bit of a reference to the War Doctor Sonic with it just being this simple emitter but I love how the Sonic sort of um, especially when it's closed it looks a bit like um, the Dalek gun um, which is very nice so this is what the Sonic looks like extended so we've got the four um, sort of claws or petals um, these are meant to have lights in um, little LED lights um, but obviously this being a toy it doesn't have it but this is when the sort of feature when you light the Sonic up if I move the camera back ever so slightly um, it does give the illusion that the claws are lit up by light as well which is nice so speaking of light and sound should we take a look at the features for this Sonic feature time for this Sonic so unlike the 9th and 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver where you couldn't sort of extend the Sonic and keep the sound going this Sonic does have that feature so you can extend it and keep the lights and sounds going which is very cool. So let's take a look at the sound. So this has five modes in the blue setting and then we'll talk about the easter eggs in a minute. So the first sound effect is this. Um, which is really cool seeing like the roundels all light up there which is very nice there we go so that's the sort of generic and i think the sound in the blue mode is a lot quieter compared to sort of the easter egg mode um, and it does sound a bit more louder when you have all the claws extended so if we double press the sonic You get this sort of pulsating, sort of recharging sort of effect there, sort of a, sort of a TARDIS hum-like sound, which is very nice. So that is the double press. And what's lovely about this is you've got the nice sort of ignition of the sonic with the button. You can hear it sort of click on and off when you press it off, which is really nice to sort of make it seem like it is an actual tool and device. I think it was first introduced on the 13th Doctor Sonic, but it's nice to see if that's been carried through on the 14th Doctor. So if we triple press, we get a flickering sort of sound and sort of sort of a recharging sort of sound which is very nice. And if we sort of press it four times, We get a pulsating sort of column there, you can see, um, which is very nice. Then we have this alarm version there with the Sonic detecting probably something. Um, probably finishing a calculation and doing an alert, which is very nice. Um, so yeah, I think that's either third or fourth. I might have miscalculated with the buttons, but yeah, that is one of the settings there. The alarm going off there. You thought we were done with features, no. This Sonic has some hidden Easter eggs. I think it was down to because the Sonic was le gonna leak, um, they didn't have time to put it on the actual press release. So to change the batteries as well, you just twist the end cap and you can remove that and you can up the battery compartment. And what's lovely about this Sonic is there's no sort of copyright stuff on it. So it's a very clean um, design, which is very nice. But you'll see that there's this little button there 
and if you hold both of these buttons down we're going to try and change the mode of the sonic color um, I say try we're going to hopefully do it so come on let's do it so if we press the button down I think for three seconds both at the same time you'll hear a beep and let's see what color we have not beep the meep but we'll see what color we get now so we have the green mode as you can hear that's a bit louder than the blue mode so if we just move that back so I don't deafen you. It's more of the classic 11th Doctor sound effects for the sonic screwdriver. Um, that claw hasn't extended for some reason. That's weird. There we go. Um, yeah, they seem to get a bit jammed with claws. Um, yeah, that might be a little bit of a fault with the design of the sonic or just the actual toy but if we just move that back there you can see there what it looks like glowing. It's very loud with the high pitch weir of the sonic. But to change it back to blue, just hold the buttons down together and you are back to the classic mode. And the thing with this is when you do change the colour mode, you if you double press the Sonic, you're not going to get the different sound effects, but in green or red or yellow, um, you only get that sort of feature in the blue mode when you sort of double press. But it's interesting now when you catch the light, you can see sort of this electric sort of glow to the Sonic, which is kind of cool, which I guess is a good thing about this chrome plating, but still, I still think it looks a bit cheap. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the other modes. I think let's try and get the other mode. So I think there's a yellow mode. Pressing the button for five seconds, we are greeted with the yellow setting. It looks green on camera, but it is the yellow setting. Uh, as you can see, it looks a bit more yellow there on the actual emitter. You can see the core's got more of a, a greeny tinge, but the sound is very much the same, I think, as the 720 um, 13th Doctor Sonic screwdriver with the when the emitter rotates. So I'll just play the sound now for you. So that's the button, that's the five second one there. There we go. Let's see what colour we've got this time. There we go. Um, which is very nice, you can see um, it does look, light up pretty well, um, probably better in a dark room to sort of demonstrate um, the Sonics in their different colour scheme, but yeah, very nice to have a red mode Sonic um, there, but yeah, very cool, um, really nice little easter egg. So let's do a Sonic lineup and then do my overall thoughts on this Sonic toy. So here we have the Sonic lineup for all the Sonic screwdrivers character options have done. I've even thrown in the laser Sonic screwdriver and Sonic lipstick. So that is how the 14th Doctor Sonic looks in closed mode. Um, so if we just open the Sonic up so you can see it in the full extended mode uh, and you can see what it looks like. So that is what it looks like in extended mode in terms of the sort of size comparison, so yeah, it fits in rather nicely with your other character option, the Sonics, even though that's 720, but shh, don't tell it. To conclude, what are my thoughts on the 14th Doctor's online exclusive version of the Sonic with the electro plating? Well, I think as a toy, this is lovely. Probably the best Sonic toy character options I've done with all the lovely little Easter eggs, you know, from the actual um, thing where you can change the Sonic setting, so you know, it's great for you know kids or cosplayers that they can imitate but they're changing the sonic setting and obviously having all those different um light modes from green red yellow and of course the stand blue um it's really cool really like that um i think there is a bit of a problem with the design of this sonic i don't know if it's a toy but the claws do seem to get a bit sort of um sort of stuck um, um one of them does get seem to get a little bit stuck um, but you have to sign of sort of force it down a little bit to make sure that they are fully um, closed but my my main sort of problem I have and this is just my personal preference um, though it's cool having this sort of chrome finish that sort of electro plating you can see how it sort of glimmers and shines in the light that sort of electric sort of blue effect on it which is cool but I personally think it makes it look a little bit tacky and a bit cheap and you know it's sort of fingerprint central it's kind of a bit you don't really want to touch because it's got to get your fingerprints all over it um 
and I think the Vax Metal Plastic, it's an expensive process and that's why the Sonic's a little bit higher price marked up and I'll talk about the price in a minute. I just think it makes the Sonic look a little bit cheap and tacky and I think it's a very, it's a fragile and over time it will become more brittle and it's a thing where you're going to have to look after this Sonic, maybe put it in a glass box so it doesn't break and shatter into a million pieces because you know if it does fall off the shelf it probably will shatter. Um, so it's one not to take to Comic Cons. Um, if you are cosplaying the 4th Do 14th Doctor then you probably want to get the standard version of it. But yeah, I can't say I'm too much of a fan of it. I just think it makes it look a bit too cheap and I guess it's, it's wrong to say more of a toy because this is a toy, but it makes it feel, it makes it look more of a toy than what it probably should do. For many people this is their way of getting the 14th Doctor Sonic in their collection. But yes, the price. Um, this has been under a lot of scrutiny for being 30 quid. Um, the 13th Doctor Sonic screwdriver was £20. This being an online exclusive, there would be a bit of a price markup because, hey, it's an exclusive, so they, they can put a couple extra quid on it. And, of course, it being sort of the Vax metal plastic to give it that chrome finish, that's more expensive, hence why it's probably £30. I think that it's still good value for what you're getting with, with the features. Um, but yeah, I, I feel a bit lukewarm on sort of the chrome plating, so I might have to wait for the regular version. Um, yeah, it's interesting that both um, replicas of the Sonic that are available now, this and the Roboto replica one, have been sort of um, criticised for price. But yeah, they're both different reasons for why they're charged that much. I think this is the most intricate Sonic um, toy or Sonic ever made, really, hence why the price has probably been increased because there's so many sort of different features within this design that you want replicated because you want a definitive version of this Sonic and I have to say well done for Bad Wolf and character options for getting this sort of out because within a week of it being announced we have it in our hands we can play around with it um, but yeah I have to say I do like it as a toy but <sighs> this chrome finish leaves a lot to be desired for me i just think it makes it look a little bit cheap and tacky when it should be more of a sort of a brushed metal like that one there but yeah i may buy the standard one to see if it's any different whether it still has the hidden easter egg features it probably will it'll probably just be more of a sort of a dull gray silver plastic instead of this electro plated Sonic so yeah I'll probably take a look at that when it comes out but that's been my review on it if you want this version by all means, go for it. Wait for the second batch. Don't go for scalper prices because it's not worth it. But as a toy, great toy. But be careful because it's a fragile thing because, you know, these are very thin little plated things and they can easily snap. Um, so just be careful of that. So thank you very much for watching my review of the 14th Doctor Sonic True Driver. If you enjoyed this video, then please do like and subscribe for plenty more Doctor related content. So thank you very much and...